Right now at 9 o'clock in just the past two days, ADOT's thermal cameras have helped state troopers respond to two wrong way drivers. So we've known the agency has been rolling out dozens of cameras along one freeway system, but tonight we've learned this system is even bigger than ADOT originally announced. 3TV's Derek Stahl reports. The first was early Sunday. I have a wrong way 101 going uh, southbound in the northbound lanes at Union Hills. Then another, less than 24 hours later. ADOT's advising that the wrong way alarm went off southbound on the 101 at Bell for a vehicle going northbound, trying to get it on camera. Both happened on Loop 101, a freeway we did not know had wrong way detection cameras until now. It's early in the, the process. We're still testing things, but this is an example of where we think they're going to prove to be a very valuable tool. ADOT's Doug Nitzel says 11 interchanges have these thermal cameras outside of the big multi-million dollar project on I-17. He says these cameras were installed about a year ago for a totally different purpose, signal timing. In taking a look and preparing for this larger I-17 project, we started learning more about the capabilities of these cameras. He says they reprogrammed the cameras to include wrong way detection over the past few months. While we can't look at this and say this is the thing that can prevent all crashes, it can alert us that much faster. It's fast, but not quite instant. Using the on screen time codes, we determined that in both cases, it took two minutes for the call to go out over the radio. In the Monday case, the driver self corrected before officers arrived. But on Sunday, the cameras appear to have helped. We detected a vehicle. Uh, DPS was alerted that much faster, didn't have to wait for 911 calls, and the troopers were able to respond and bring that vehicle to a stop. Uh, that was 3TV's Derek Stahl reporting for us tonight. That driver, by the way, that Derek mentioned was arrested on suspicion of DUI. The system on the I-17 will be more advanced. It'll have light-up signs that'll then alert drivers going the wrong way and then link to message boards for drivers going the right way. That should all be up and running early next year.